showed you. Hi, Bernard. Bless you. <laughs> Hi, Carsten. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, now we, we want to show our graphics performance a bit. And um, um, I'm here uh, connected uh, via the new RDP client to a desktop. And you see here, mm -hmm. I'm using short shortest pass i'm locally connected to the machine where we just installed our application and mm -hmm. you will show the same to the other machine from your location over azure over the gateway so first let's open task manager and we see here we have our gpu here and we have multiple uh, applications and ca that can use GPU. So I we have we have installed the Heaven benchmark. I have another one, a newer one from Jun Unigi or how they are called. And there are also some WebGL samples in the internet. And we start with this one. So here's a URL, and you have different applications here. And I like the Blob one. So when I click on the Blob one, they use OpenGL. And you can specify how many blobs there are. Currently, there are 10 and something with a resolution. So for me, that looks really smooth. And we see here we have 30 frames per second. So yes, so have a look at the uh, at the network bandwidth that you are using. Let's and if here. you change the resolution, right, it will become a little bit smoother than and right now i mean it's it's interesting right so you're having you're sending four megabits per second so your bandwidth yeah it's okay it's, right it is okay it's pretty used i mean it's depending on what you're displaying what the resolution you have right it may change maybe a little bit not looks good yeah it looks good it's it's from, um... uh, from that perspective right so let's, we could try other ones, but we don't want to uh, prolong yep. this thing. So I will start heaven. I love heaven. It's very old, I told you already. <laughs> and here we can test different APIs. So we have DirectX 11, that's a hardware support we need, or OpenGL. So I go with DirectX 11, I run and we will get an error because he wanted to to create something full screen video mode, he can't, but it it will open a window. And here we see uh, it's loading. Maybe I move it a bit over here so that we can see our our bandwidth is still to. Well, it's going down, but it's not doing much in the moment. And I go to benchmark here, so it will start fresh, and then I have only fifteen. FPS. Yeah. yeah, we had 30, but uh, we have a little bit problem with the license server in the moment. Yeah, so, it, with yeah, it, we are about you know about an expiring demo license. So, yeah. um, the first day that you try out uh, these tools is um, they give you full performance, but after some reboots, they are sort of you know getting you down, leveling you down. Anyways. Um, you know, they, that's true. So, so we have only half the GPU performance. We, right. uh, we had some minutes ago still 100%, but <laughs> now we are limited. Uh, so, Maybe it's, uh, you know, so only for a certain time that the virtual machine is, 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 is on, right? So the system could be, uh, would be capable of more. However, the process is you put the license in the right, uh, in the right um, folder. It will be picked up, um, so that means you need to have outbound connection uh, to reach the uh, uh, the NVIDIA license server. Then, if the license is okay, you know you you uh, you get a small status at the bottom. I think I'll you know I'll, I will I have the screenshot, so I will blend it in when cutting. You the will video. show it, right? Yeah, and then um, you know you should see the performance. You know, at least maxing out your NVIDIA GPUs. Nevertheless, how you know how how uh, much performance your system or the application drags from the CPU, but yeah, and and basically it's sort of a limitation of what the hardware can do then and um, the network bandwidth that you have available, right? Um, so I will just show um, mm -hmm. if I can use it as a normal normal user. Yeah, it will show it here. Is the mm -hmm. NVIDIA? Yeah. 
NVIDIA SMI2 with minus Q, a small one. You see here the information about our CPU. And if we go down, yeah, we have the license status for yeah. the vGPU. We need the virtual workstation license here, not the virtual mm. C. And it's unlicensed and it's restricted. So, so remember, we when, are we limited, did, yeah. Yeah, when, when we did this a uh, couple of minutes ago, it was showing unrestricted. So you may have the uh, unleashed performance for just um, some reduced minutes. amount, uh, reduced amount of time, right? Uh, and it's also throttled me down to 15 frames per second. So, you know. Yeah, but uh, it's, I think the video is still nice. It wouldn't, yeah. it's not a video, it's a rendering of uh, 3D yeah. objects. Uh, yeah. So it's still nice to see. It's very smooth, but we could have more than 30 frames per second if it wouldn't mm -hmm. be throttle us down. So, yeah. but still for me on the, on the, on the screen, it's nice. So maybe uh, we can switch to your screen and you show us the same experience. Yours is also throttled on, you are on the other virtual machine. Maybe we see how it's going yeah. through the Azure gateway because you are connected yeah. Yeah. from outside sure. of the network, right? So should I yeah. switch to your screen? You can switch over um, and I have the, um, the blobs window open, right? Um, so you see similar frame rates, uh, 15 frames per second. Um, and you see that I'm on the other host. The uh, performance looks also quite nice, I would say. The only difference yeah. is, you know, that I do have uh, different latencies, right? Because my round trip time is higher um, as I, you know, need to traverse or to get back to you and also um, to reach out uh, to Azure probably. I mean, it might be interesting to see, you know, from the resource monitor thing um, to which IP address the client talks. So maybe we'll cut it there um, and logging on as administrator. And maybe um, you can show heaven also. Just for the experience, how smooth it is from over the Azure gateway. Because I'm I'm quite fascinated how uh, how well it works. Mm -hmm. I think for running it remotely, um, it's quite smooth. There are a little bit. No, I think it's it's good. What do you think? Yeah, so the uh, pending on the uh, network speed and the, uh, I mean, it's always difficult to record something that is, you know, to record something that is producing uh, video stuff, right? So there are a lot of things that, you know, might slow down the system, network bandwidth, uh, processing power, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's working relatively good. I, I, I like it as well, right? So the, if we would put, uh, use other tools, uh, you know, um, we could show other different graphics performance, you know, CAD design uh, tools or whatnot in order to play with it. But it is, I think, a good alternative um, solution for uh, providing VDI-based desktops um, with a decent power uh, on-premise. Yeah, I would say that concludes our small segue into uh, GPU partitioning and using them in uh, our AVD environment. And you can also use them uh, in terminal servers if you want to. So uh, uh, GPU partitioning is not only possible with uh, AVD. You can just use it outside of AVD. So, uh, but it's of course, helps a lot if you need graphic performance and special applications in your desktops. Yeah, Bernard, I think we are done with our AVD series, huh? Yes, so um, hopefully this was useful for you guys. Uh, we had lots of fun. Um, so maybe we'll see each other somewhere uh, in the future or on any forum. Um, so hope this was useful. Take care and bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye.